today we are on our way to a commercial fish farm. Uh, they farm and raise koi fish, those very expensive goldfish. So uh, we're headed there now. They have two wells. Both wells have three horsepower, three phase, 25 gallon minute pumps. And both of them are bad. They both got struck by lightning. So I had to order in a pump, which is in the back seat. And we are on our way there now to rip it out. And we're just gonna replace the motor on one. And then we'll address the other one uh, later on in the week when the parts show up. But right now, getting pumps and motors uh, for commercial systems is quite difficult. So we got one well here. We got one well there. Now, the issue that I found is they're both interconnected underneath the ground, so they're both sucking off the same vein. So each well has a 25 gallon minute well pump in it, so if this one drains the water level down to say 150 foot, that one over there drains down to 150 foot. So these wells were constructed way too close to one another to even be sufficient for the idea that they have. I think each one of them makes like 25, 30 gallons a minute, but it's no good because they're both draining each well dry so we have to pull that today it's on inch and a quarter black roll pipe which is gigantic but it makes it easier because we're going to use our uh, electric upsa daisy pump puller i don't think i've uh, yet made a video using that device yet Makes pulling well pumps extremely easy, but 
this device probably weighs like 200 pounds, so it's kind of hard to, to carry on every job. But when you have inch and a quarter black roll and a big three horsepower pump, it really makes life a lot simpler. And all it does, it just uses these three tires, goes right in the middle of it. One of them is driven by a chain. You can see the chain over there in a gearbox. Pretty cool. We've already gotten, don't pull it like that. Let it go up. Yep, keep that nice arch. Because you can actually pull it out of these wheels and then it goes and it'll suck back down. What I'm doing here, this little hydraulic piston likes to push on this lever and it tightens the wheel set. It'll grip a lot better. Cool. Typically, you know, yes, but I think it was just a, a number of things. See, I had wrapped it really heavy in tape right here, right. but when you just get down to here, you can tell that it's missing. Yeah, you can feel it. It's missing the yellow. Yeah. It's completely gone. Yep. There's like an inch of copper missing. Which sucks. There's another one down here. I think we can cut that out with paper. Yeah. I think it's just the wiring. I doubt the pump's bad. That would make sense for it to cut off like that. Yeah. It's only been three years, I think. I know. Okie dokie. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this here and shorten it where we get more wire. But our, uh, our main pump leads are bad, as you can tell. So even though we have a new motor, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Hook this back up and test it, make sure it works. And then put it back in the way it came out. You can see the ground wire right here. That's what's left of the copper right there sticking out. And then there is none down here. You gotta get way back into here, so it's kind of corroded. So it's lost about a two inch section of copper. It just breaks the same for the yellow.
all right so we went ahead and we fixed the issued area and he's gonna go inside right now I've got it hooked up over here and we're gonna spin this uh, system and make sure that it works we'll put an amp meter on it just to make sure and see what it says got these sweat bees out here Perfect. That's good. That good. Yes, sir. So it was just a bad wire. So anybody watching, if you ever want to test your well pump to see if it's good, you can always run it on top of the ground just like this. You just need a clamp style amp meter. You clamp it around one leg and then you read it. Good deal. All right, we're gonna go ahead and slam this thing back in the hole. Since the well pump was still good, we went ahead and rewired it and then I went ahead and added this torque arrester. Now, most people know that I don't like using these, but this is an instance where these are gonna come in handy because a three horsepower motor is gonna have so much torque that it's gonna cause the wires to rub in two exactly the way this one did. But we assumed that it was a lightning strike, but maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe it did hit the line and maybe it just burned out that section that we had saw. So now we're gonna take everything that's out here and we're gonna go ahead now and start putting it back down in the hole. I called him first last week. I said, I got a problem. And he was like, oh man, I'm under the weather. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I said, do you, have, do you have anybody else? Do you know anybody that can do it? And he told me Sneed and he told me Elliot. And Sneed works by himself. And he says, he goes, I don't really want to really do three phase by myself. I was like, okay. And then Elliot, they have one guy who does it. And then they sent the service guys out. And they were like looking at each other, scratching their head. I was like, I don't know. Do you know? No, I don't know. That's what they were doing. And I'm like, oh my God. I don't know either, man. So, uh, but you better believe, still at the end of the day, they hand you a bill. Well, I agree. <laughs> and you know what he said? His guy's name was Bruce. He says, he goes, you know what? When you, when you get this fixed, he says, you give me a call and, and, and just let me know what, what it was. was so that I have an idea and I like to learn from things. And All right, hey, at least he's trying to learn. I agree. I, and, 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 trying I, and to I was learn. like, that, that was good. Partner didn't care. He just wanted to get home. Most <laughs> people are waiting until 5 o'clock. Right. Yeah. Right, exactly. Okay, when it's this type of heat and this type of humidity, nobody wants to do nothing. Nobody wants to do anything. Nope. It's so bad. And he was up in that controller box, and it's probably about 100 degrees upstairs. Up there. Oh my god! 
Like we were just dripping, dripping, dripping. I said, don't drip in that box. We'll blow deal. this fucking place up. Go ahead and uh, All right, try it. kick it on. All right, he is gone to turn it on. I hear it coming. I hear it coming. There it is. We fixed it. Oh, nice and cold water too, baby. That is like super duper cold compared to out here. Spectacular. And, and the good thing is, he didn't have to buy a $1,275 pump. But, or $1,200 motor. But, that one over there is still dead. So that one's not coming on. So that's going to be next. But I doubt we're going to do that today. As long as he's got one going, that's what matters. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I'm going to make out a bill. and It's Saturday, so I'm going home. and I'm going to go enjoy my Saturday. I came out here and worked for him today because I didn't have any other time during the week to fit him in. Unless it was 7 o'clock at night. I wasn't about to come out here that late. just in time because it is pouring down rain so now we're headed back to the shop and we're gonna unload everything and it's time to go home because it's Saturday I'm not supposed to be out here working today anyways but we had to get them water going so hope y'all enjoyed the video a little bumpy at the moment but uh if you have any water well questions, be sure to check out my channel. Check out all my well-related videos. If you enjoy the content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. See y'all later. Lord have mercy. We're about to get hit.